Hi everyone, today it's uh, December 21st, 2014. Uh, we are at the end of December. Uh, well, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about one of the one of my experiments and one of this vegetable here in the in a five gallon bucket. Uh, we see a lot of ring barrel here. I have three ring barrels here, two of them here, fifty five gallons. Uh, you know, during the December month, we had a lot of rain, and I believe just December alone, the amount of rain we had uh, for the last two weeks is probably more than an entire year. And as you know, I live in Southern California. Uh, we had a, a, a long drought for the last five years, so the rain uh, really come as a relief. Okay, so let's let's look at this vegetable here. Uh, if you you can tell, this is. Well, some of you can tell this is watercress. Uh, like I said, this is only an experiment. <laughs> you can't grow this in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, the rainwater is excellent. It's very clean. Uh, a lot of oxygen, you know, it's highly oxygenated, so free of chlorine as well. Uh, so I brought some of this watercress from the store. Uh, as I prepare them, uh, some of them has, you know, somewhat roots on it. Here, like this one. So I just cut them off and, and throw them into this rainwater. Uh, and sure enough, they, they actually survive and actually produce more roots. And as you can see, this is a new growth. So they are springing up above the water level. Uh, as you know, watercress, as the name suggests, right? Watercress is the aquatic plant. So they, need, they do need to be in the water constantly. And they need a lot of room to spread out. That's how they produce side shoots. And uh, every side shoot you can harvest and they regrows again. Now in order to grow wild quest, you need very good clean water. You can't just grow them from regular, you know, uh, tap water. They need to be crystal clean that, to the point where the water, you can, you, if you're able to drink that water, then you can grow watercress. Okay, and if you know anything about watercress, uh, watercress is considered one of the highly dense nutrition uh, vegetable. Uh, I think it's on the top of the list. It's number one, I believe, on the Andes list. Uh, I believe Andes, A A N D I, uh, Aggregate Nutritional Density Index. So watercress is number one. Uh, I think it scored 100 out of uh, you know 100. So it's top. It's one of the top. Okay, so this is just an experiment to see how the plant uh, uh, do in 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 a just you know. See how they do, and it's just throw them in there. Uh, and like I said, watercress do like the the cold weather, so they they, they do survive in, in the cold weather. Uh, normally, you'll find them in the you know stream in the in the wild. You find them in the stream and uh, they're running waters. At. So so watercress will, will definitely do very well in the cooler climate. But one thing you have to to make sure is that the water has to be very very clean. Okay. All right. That's just a really a quick video uh, to see what the possibility can be. Can you can grow? Uh, and I think if I have enough room, I will definitely grow this this plant because one of my favorite the vegetable. Uh, also, like I say, it's one of the most densely uh, nutritious uh, plant. That vegetable that you can actually consume. Okay, well, thank you for watching and uh, have, have a happy holidays and see you in 2015. Uh, okay, if, please post a comment uh, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.